man. We back, man. We got that marathon in the building, the D. You feel me? That kiwi, strawberry, gelato. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry you about what's me. in this year. You feel me? Don't worry about what's in this year. What we starting this off with, man? How we, how we rocking, bro? We got See, uh, uh, really third week of preseason coming up. Our Saints, bro. We, 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 we can start up. Yeah, we doing, we doing. Yeah, we gonna give a. We yeah, gonna, we gonna give our a few what, of our first week picks. Yeah, we, we yeah, I see we was gonna do picks this week. week. Picks. Few, we gonna give about right. four. Yeah, we gonna give them a little something, a little taste. Little, little, little something, brother. But uh, as far as our our Saints, bro, you know, man, I seen some yesterday. Both of them didn't do good at practice, like, and they said passing the ball, bro. But 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 I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather have trouble right now than trouble in the season. That's what practice for, for trouble. Yeah, that's yeah. what we practice for, I mean, for you to throw these intercepts and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because Lane Kiffin got on that other day. He like, man, you know, our offense getting the best of my defense. So, you know, we need to work on defense, but it had you think, and at the same time, is my offense just that good? You know, something he said, but he was basically saying, like, you know, Practice you. He basically was saying, "Practice, you really can't tell. You could tell, but you." That's what I was about to take to. It's like practice. You really how hard can, can he really go in practice? And, you know, in practice, you know what I'm saying to really figure something out. All right, so I, I you, you know, know. Now, I ain't lying, dog. To really I'm judge yourself. Sta- I'm starting to really see. No fucking. I'm saying it right now. Here we the, go. Saints defensive co- the Saints defensive Here we go. coordinator has proved to me he the best in the business. He don't got the names and all that. He going to draft who he want like everybody got mad because he just went and got this DM from Houston. Everybody this man and drafted and brung in on that defense, dog, then contribute heavy. No, I, he... They say he gonna play all down the line. No, no, no. When Talking about the coach, coach. yeah. Uh, hey, when the defense court? Who that when is? Den- got, um, Den- Dennis Allen, huh? It's Dennis. Dennis Allen. Uh, Dennis Allen no, he the. Ball. Dennis Allen. Is he the head defensive coordinator, or he like the uh, Saints defensive coordinator? The um, assistant or some the shit. I think it's Dennis Allen, though. I it's think him. it is Dennis Allen. It, it, it's, it's Dennis Allen. And I think he got a vet or something who right, you know. He been there a while, though. He ain't been there since the bowl, but I think he might have been a nigga after Will. At the Greg Will? Yeah, Dennis Allen. He was Dennis Allen, yeah. How long have been, about eight years? He been with us 12 years. Yeah, and he right after Will. Yeah. yeah, right That's after Greg Will. Yeah. And, and I ain't lying. Payton, now look. That not stuff. for he sure. He I, he, it's no, it, 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 stumble up on him. No shit. Mickey Loomis can only agree with these players. He pointing out Dennis Allen with that fucking scheme. You ain't about to be no top five defense five years straight. Yeah, okay. That's why I say right now we got the best defensive uh, coach in the league. I think what, it's what, three of them. Cause I only think one. Of, let me see who the first rounders on our defense. He got Cam. La- Lattimore and Cam. I think the Mario Davis and all them, we built them. Dude yeah. found all them. He built the Mario Davis from scratch. Yeah. Top paid linebacker. I mean, well, no, highest paid linebacker in the league for right now. To whoever about that was about to get the money, he I just got his money. That's a good up. question. Yeah. Well, I, I, I know I want to pick some. None of our safeties was first round. <coughs> The first one was gone. All right, yeah. we got your boy from Texas San Antonio who got hurt last year. A dog on that line. He coming back healthy. We got another guy. I forgot his name. I don't even be remembering his name. He had 15 sacks last year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know you're talking about. I can't think his name either. We building this here, dog. I ain't lying. I ain't got my goal. If anything, we done flipped the script. But, but dog, if he been there 12 years and Mickey been there that long and Peyton... 
is uh, three of them. Though. Oh, yeah, we got to give Mick and they credit. They all getting broke off, though. Yeah, we got to give Mick and Loomis credit. So, I, and I, I just want to stay together, though. Look, too. check this out, dude. I just got one. I just got one message for Gail Benson. Yeah, we love Mickey. Keep him from keep him with the Saints. That that uh, that other team. Yeah, yeah, that other team. That ain't his lane. That ain't his. Yeah. That ain't your lane, Mickey. Tell them people you strictly messing with the Saints. It, that's dead. Well, he don't need to be messing with with the Pelicans. You thought you think you know he started that shit? Don't another another GM. I think do they got your boy from Cleveland. Who, the, the who won the Griffin. championship? David oh, you talking about do football and basketball? You got LeBron to sure. come back home. We got the dude who got LeBron to leave Miami and go back to Cleveland. Yeah. That's, that's David Griffin. Mm. You know what I mean? So he forever stand for pulling off that move. He stole LeBron back from Miami. Gotcha. We brought him in, but Mickey Loomis is head oh, of oh, basketball oh, operations. So he Griffin, make the last yeah. call. Griffin got to go to him with the with the yeah. with the plan. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say we, you know. I don't know if he could if he could translate it to basketball and listen. And, you know, he might could do something with the Pelicans, bro. He, he, you know, because he make, like you say, he making good moves for the Saints. We've been making good moves lately. It's going to take for somebody to commit in basketball to that second deal. Right. And we haven't really had. AD gave us a little side hustle. So. But who gonna commit, though? That's what it's gonna take. Giannis committed, boom. Chip. See, that's why so, when you that's why I see when you small I see Zion commit. When you small market, Okay C would have won if two out of three of them niggas would committed. Have committed. Listen. Period. That's what I'm saying though. It would have been a, uh, on the street. In the, you in feel? the small market town, bro, you gotta take the Spurs approach. Like the Pelicans got to take the Spurs approach. They got their Zion. They got to learn how to find pieces, and they got to build teams. Since they can't get superstars to stay, they got to build teams that you gonna have to beat. Like, I, like if you get what I'm saying, see, they gonna have to build. They gonna have to build teams. Well, you know they got dang superstar, superstar up. But everybody could come play, you know. I don't really see us having a KD and, 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 and James Harden, them two type of names at the same time. CP3. I can't see us getting two motherfuckers to come sign a deal here. CP3. See, that's the thing. If and we get somebody it. like that, they're going to be at the end of their career with still something left in the tank and probably making a run at the title, but ain't nobody committing here past five years, dog. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. You keep saying San Antonio, Duncan was there 20 years, dog. But guess what? They, if you ever peep, they ain't really, they started giving them dudes their money and shit down the line. The Spurs and Manu and them start getting paid later. And they were still winning. You see what I'm saying? Because, let me see. Who did Max players were? It was Manu. Man, yeah, the big, the big money, the big money was Manu and and, and Timmy, and Parker was right under them. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Are you are you saying Parker money was bigger now, than Manu? Manu don't even start. No, yeah, Manu was getting that cheese. Manu was getting I'm that cheese. Not saying cheese, he wasn't getting paid. But how your max player come out of the bed? So bench? the whole max shit didn't even come out till after they. About to say the max wasn't even there. That when, wasn't so. even their thing, dog. So and you only say Parker. You max. saying Parker's salary was bigger than. Pretty Miami. sure. That whole yeah. You made me think starter. You know. I'm pretty sure Tony Parker's contract was bigger than my news. I mean, yeah. you know when they both got paid. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I'm saying during that whole run, they probably had one player with a hundred million dollar deal. Oh yeah, nobody. Would see what I'm saying? Match, like though. you know, the pop was building teams and then ship you out, get somebody to fit our system, yeah. go get a vet, pay them a little. Like they kept teams and hungry players who gonna fit in their system. That's the Pelicans need to follow that, something like that. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, all right, yeah. I guess you mean like Golden State on some shit, like. Something like Miami. Went in through the draft. Yeah, the Heat. How the Heat just pulled it out and got there. 
They ain't winning. <laughs> but Pat Riley put something together over them. We'll so I kept, Miami, kept Jimmy Butler, Bam them young. That's Miami, too. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to come That's Miami, fuck. Yeah, that's Miami. Nobody old lady trying to live in the inner. That's how I feel about it. That's why we can't you know, keep creating. I think we got a our the chance. Wife be ready to go. What? Go. <laughs> go, dog. Nobody. He made lady me look at it like that. <laughs> Nobody old lady won't live in the end the bitch can't be. She, the bitch can't be. I ain't up. lying. Yeah. You can't be basketball wives down here. What? In New Orleans, bitch ain't nothing. Even, nothing to do. It's shits. That's that's why we can't keep nobody. That's that's. I definitely but, feel like that's man, why I'm going to keep this That nigga over there don't want to be... What? To L.A.? Or to you know? Come on, man. Man, what's sick? What's going on with... Um, what's going on with Lattimore Charge? I ain't been hearing nothing about that. You know he caught a whole gun charge. So, you know... He might wind up sitting out, it's get, getting suspended <coughs> or something. He's been practicing. I ain't here to come up no more. But he got a gun charge. That boy. They were showing that boy on the news today. And he they got the video of him letting the police search him in the car and everything. And Sean Payton, he ain't said, but he came off like basically he read it day one. If he beat the charge, he gonna play. So that's how they All play. right. He but from the news. News. They gonna pay it out. Yeah. He gonna beat the charge. Gun laws ain't strict in Cleveland. That was New York or something. Suspension. Or if it was drugs, you know. LA suspension. The federal state, DC, some fucking well, suspension. That's like getting caught with a banger down here in Cleveland. Yeah. It ain't that domestic violence, though. Yeah, so he should be straight. I mean, to piggyback on that, dude, I think the Pelican is in a good position, bro. He got a lot of talent. And Zion can be a once in a, you know, decade or, you know, player like he may be the piece well he all taking right. us there all right but how we gonna beat the we in the west the west weak to me man we y'all to mind we in the west we got phoenix though we got denver i'm saying the west denver. ain't what the west was the east See, is the what west still the west ain't no difference it's no i think deep. the west is penetratable you know you can get in there nah like you got an old lebron you got talking about an old Chris Paul. You got the Clippers. Everybody just signed back. You got Utah Donovan Mitchell. Like, come on, you just was saying fuck. Ain't nothing bad about Donovan Mitchell. He superstar. Man. He, but when you say them dudes got Zion, that should mean something in a minute. Brandon Ingram, that should mean something in a minute. This boy, you know. That should mean something in a minute, but we talking about right now. Well, it, it means right something now. now. Dude, them, both of them boys average 25, 26, 27 points a game. They yeah. ain't no pushovers. But is they ready to beat Utah? Yeah, what the fuck? Who the fuck is Utah? <laughs> they better than nothing. So what y'all I'm just saying. Willie Green? I don't know nothing about him. I don't I'm know what to think him. about him. He I'm ain't never coached before. I don't know nothing about him. I'm fucking with him. I remember him from no, Baltimore. Like, I hear Will Agree, and I'm like, that's a nigga who played at the old. I'm fucking with him. Like, I don't, like, who is Big that? Willie about five, really five ten yeah. playing center, man. Yeah! Well, I remember Willie, man. Yeah. Know why I'm fucking with Willie <laughs> Green? Like, I don't know. Know why I'm fucking with Willie Green? He a nigga, you watched his whole career, if you own him, he, you know, he worked hard for his position and all that. Stayed in the league, played his years in the league, worked hard, but, you know, got into coaching. I feel like a guy like him, all what he done been through, he fit a coach. He, I like he it. He fit a coach. I like I would it think, because. I would guess he could coach. I like it because he a former player. Yeah. He young. <laughs> he young. I, I, and I would he know think, what's going on. I would think he can understand He know game. what's going on. How you want. We just had fucking Stan Van Gundy, man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, that shit was good. And they said away. he was straight old school. You know, like, so. how the fuck you get Stan Van Gundy for? Running niggas at practice. Like 18 extra. years old. Like this high school. Like, no, man. Like, that was, Trying to make niggas run laps and shit. Willie Green, who yeah, you need? Stand back. You never like, know. Yeah, we I might. Know you do that in high school though. Oh, we we might come with um. Oh, I don't know. We might. I don't know what's his scheme gonna be. How he gonna come? I assume we gonna have a little entertainment with it. We will have to. 
you know, some up and down, some Showtime Look, type shit. It's a guy that, but I like our team too. And he just retired in like 2012 or something. He inclined with what's going on in the game, and he been on people's staff. He just get this head coaching job. I got to pull it up, Willie. Oh Green. no, no, I knew that. I, he, ain't like he been on staffs, like I told you. Willie Green got him. Now Sam Cassell next. Brass tech. You see what I'm saying? Man, you be preaching that Sam Cassell. But they been throwing my dog I'm name saying, out there. I don't the never hear his years. name. Yeah. I never hear Sam Cassell's name. Willie Green. Pull up top ten him. Him. right now. He gonna Sam be Cassell up been coaching longer than Willie Green. Uh-huh. He ain't no oh, Willie Green, not Sam Cassell. Nick. No, Sam Cassell is not even being looked at, obviously. Because he got niggas like Willie Green skipping him. Yeah, he's the assistant coach with Doc right now for Philly. Yeah, well, fuck. So Willie Green got hired to keep Zion. Yeah, look, you, the, you, the, you the Brand you the guy we need to Bra- keep Zion. Bradley, what you want, Zion? Why don't you get a younger cat up in here? I'm pretty sure they asked him. Look, Bradley Bill wanted former Clipper Sam, assist, Sam Cassell as head coach. Bradley Bill irked by Wizards' process of West Unsell Jr. over Sam Cassell. Not giving Sam Cassell a second interview may cost Wizards Bradley Bill. He's not been here in his name, Cassell. You know, he's been up. But the whole step of the way with Doc run, Doc whole run from Boston to now, he been the assistant coach. He uh, on the staff. But I know the last eight years he's been the assistant coach for sure from the Clippers to now. He, he been the coach. He, the I don't assistant think coach. so because I know I think he was coaching G League or something. I think he went did something. Yeah, he coached. He he was he was the. Uh, I think he moved around a little bit. I I think, but not saying Sam ain't a good coach. It just fuck. I mean, everybody else jumping in front of Steve Nash ain't need nothing. Patrick, you want to jump in front of? Yeah, hey, we got that boy Nate in Atlanta. What that mean? Nate McMillan. I'm fucking with that. Yeah, fuck with Nate. I'm fuck with Nate, former player. He was on that team with well, the glove. Team I'm gotta do though. What, in Atlanta? It was close. Was Atlanta, play? young and ready. They, they, they. they. Yeah. Yeah. They gave the young boys the bread. Trey Young, um, You know, Collins. they're a max player away from a title. They got a good team. This say fucking LeBron and, them winning and this And they're retired. young. So they're going to get better. Like, even Giannis and them, yeah, they're young too. But Atlanta. they closer to their prime than these Atlanta guys is. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta got a little bit more room to improve, I think. Boy, Atlanta, cold. Is Nate slipping at the old school, though? Yeah, but he never left the game. He know what's going on. He ain't retired. You see Trey Young can pull that bitch from wherever? That ain't no old school <laughs> shit. You see, you know, old school, that wouldn't have happened. You got to unleash these dudes, man. You know, you got to, like, you know. I remember Gilbert Arena saying that shit, like, what you think a dog going to be better on a leash or off the leash? The fuck you think? You know what I'm saying? You got to let the motherfuckers go. You got to let me go, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Trey Young, you got to let him go. Yeah, a few mistakes don't get never fucked. He to a level where he really, he ain't making no mistakes <laughs> like that. He might take what you think is a bad shot. And with the history, all right, yeah, it's a bad shot. But, man, these dudes making this shit, man. There you go, there you go. Come on, man, these dudes making this shit, though. Sure They've been it. shooting that shit since high school that far. So, who the dog horse to win it next year? Dark horse? Dark horse. You call, who you call? You call the Bucks early. Yeah. But like early in the playoffs, not early. Right. Not in the year. Yeah. Our dog horse to win the title? Early, early. We, when we talking dog horses, then I say Denver. I don't think they Was Jamal the Murray dog healthy? Horse. They ain't showed me nothing. Ever. Hey, we talking dog horse, so we can't name none of the contenders. There you go. So Denver. Right. Hmm. A dog horse. Um. Uh, I'll get that too right quick. Be bald. Boston uh, Celtics. Yeah, they're a piece that's of weight. Right as long as they got Tatum and Brown. Shit. 
As long as they got Tatum and Brown, they're competing for the yeah, they, 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 they're, they're a threat. Tatum and Brown, a threat. That's right. Damn. I'm tweaking for this NFL, though, brother. That's a tough Chiefs one. And, Chiefs and, uh... Well, let me give you a pick for you. I want, I want, let me see. Yeah, Chiefs and, Chiefs I'm and, talking uh, about with the dog calls right quick. Let me, let me give you a dog call. I got a few of mine. Let me give you Yeah, you had one out on me. Man, yeah, I, uh, I got Denver Boss. I'm about to throw that down his babies right now. Denver Boss. And six. You know what I'm going to see? Remember the home team? Six. Dog calls, bro. You know what I'm going to see, bro? I'm going to see Miami. I'm going to see Miami, bro. They going to be tough to beat. In the playoffs, that team is saying they're going to be tough to beat. Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, Bam. They got Victor back from one year. Duncan Robinson. They got Victor Olapadito on the bench. Uh, I mean, he probably going to come off the bench, six man. They got Duncan Robinson, the shooter. And Hero was in the sophomore slump, brother. He's going to come back. Hero. I, like I know I'm missing somebody, but they guards, guard play is going to be tough. They're going to have some great defense. They lost none. It's going to be tough to beat Miami. So when it, if and when they lose, they ain't going to get, they ain't going to be no full one shit. No, no, you know, who the who. Yeah, yeah, you know, un- unless Brooklyn, you know, <laughs> Brooklyn got the chance to do anything. Out, boy, unless they play them people. Like, <clears throat> you know, but if anything, I see Miami showing up against them. Like, yeah, Kyle Lowry ain't backing down from none of y'all. Yeah, he, he, you know, Jimmy Butler ain't backing down from none of y'all. And Bam. You know, and Bam can have his own. As long as one of the mother boys could play up to it, that would be a tough series. But, um... But yeah, dude, man. The football, but uh, football, you know, coming up. I'm I got saying that Chiefs and, and KC game first week. That's the headline the first week. That's the headline game. Sunday. First week usually have some. Tampa play good. Tampa play Thursday. See them and them and Dallas. That's right. A good one. But for a Sunday. I got to go with the Chiefs, the Chiefs and KC. That's the biggest game. Yeah, and then you, got, the AFC you, you got the Saints and Green Bay. You that got, ain't your big game, bro. That ain't a big game. Fuck no. We talking about big game? When the Saints don't know who they're going to start at quarterback? We talking about two teams who people picking them win the Super Bowl about to play. We won off the bat. That's a big game. It is a big game. Saints and Green Bay. It's a big game, man. You talking about teams games. who win double-digit no games big, every year. It ain't no, no big game when, no when it, it ain't no big game when everybody looking for Green Bay to wipe the floor with the Saints. It ain't no big game when expectations is a fucking blowout. Why was why would everybody just think that? We at home, right? Saints at home. I'm just saying, though. I don't even know. I'm a fan. If we was in Green Bay not knowing who's starting, okay, yeah, maybe majority feel like Green Bay going to win the game. Just even thinking. Just off top. It was a Green Bay off top. Yeah. Even Saints at home. I don't give a fuck win. if Alvin Kamara was starting that QB. That's not a big game. <laughs> How does Saints Green Bay not a big game? It's not. How that's not a big game? You talking about Aaron Rodgers playing, first of all. It ain't Drew Brees. Aaron, I don't give a fuck if Aaron Rodgers playing. He's like one of the best ever. Against one of the best teams. In the league for the last 10, 15 years. What you mean? That's not a big game. No, we could potentially, like... Pittsburgh and Buffalo. That's another big one. Nah. And then Arizona and Tennessee. But Pittsburgh and Buffalo is a big one. Pittsburgh opened up the season 10-0 and 0 last year. And they can see what they So you think about. Pittsburgh and Buffalo bigger than Saints Green Bay? Yeah. There's no way. Possible. You know why? Because Buffalo haven't been winning. The Buffalo Saints winning every year. Went to the AFC Championship. Oh, man. I feel you. So the Saints winning, winning right every now. year. Saints just went to the NFC Championship. Buffalo winning right now. 
Saints is too. Saints Buffalo is, went one more game than Saints the Saints. Saints lost a Hall of Famer. Yeah, quarterback. That's why it's new. And uh, another Hall of Famer mm-hmm. might be playing in the last season. We was winning when he wasn't here. Like, that's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> what we was winning when he wasn't oh. here? Mo- 90% of the games he wasn't here, we won them bitches. When Drew Brees wasn't here? Yeah. yeah. We were winning when he wasn't here. Yeah, nigga. And one of the seasons when Teddy came in. Yeah, Teddy was six and zero. Taysom Hill went three and one or something. We don't really lose when Drew Brees out, but it's a new thing for us. We starting off fresh, people believe, bro. We starting over from scratch. Nobody outside this bitch believe in us. That's all I'm saying. We do, and we know we got a top five defense, and we, the outside looking. How the hell like, you know what people outside here thinking? Because I see what the people, everybody predicting us to fucking yeah. come in third place in the division, yeah. fall off. Yeah. Our total wins this year is nigga, fucking nigga, six, building, six 6.5 wins if you go There's back no way right now. Oh, nigga, yeah, nigga, man. Building, yeah. That it's was it's no you, such thing as rebounding in football, man, first of all. It's no such thing. We been doubted, see? Yeah. Go look at the shit. Pull up the things and expectations and shit. Pull it up. They picking us to go, what, the 17 game? They picking us to go fucking 7 and 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but we feel like that's retarded. Why? Right. Like you, you ain't even, that ain't come across your landscape. Because right. You can't I don't think that. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. But, no, we but. Can't even feel like that. But because we think about nine and one, seven and ten. I mean, rebuilding is just the wrong word. Yeah. There's no way we. Re- I mean, nobody rebuilds. NFL, that's a whole different. Like I'm a baseball man, and y'all niggas talking about oh week one big game. Baseball 162 games, baby. Mm. Every game in the NFL is a big game. So let's put that in the street. But niggas definitely think we rebuild even. We being down there outside. It's no, <laughs> outside our I understand fan base, that. We getting down there, see? We know. We I didn't say that up. wasn't true. I just said wow. how you knew. Some people picking us to come in last in the division. You see what I'm saying? Some people feel like Atlanta going to be better than us this year just because they got Matt Ryan, and we don't know what we're going to do with our quarterback. I heard one man say it the other day. He got the fucking Tampa. Winning it, he got Atlanta coming in second place, and he got Carolina coming in third over us. <laughs> Cause Sam Donald with the bar, Christian McCaffrey, some shit. Yeah, dude was like, but I kind of felt where he was coming from. Everybody quarterback situation better than ours. Going into it, going into it. That's, how, that's, that's what how, you know. That's it. what that's what people think. But that's how they, they people feel like James gonna come stake up the joint, bro. They ain't looking at that, though. They looking at yeah. Monsters. They ain't looking at what Jameis could do. Yeah. They looking at what he done did. He threw 30 picks. We know he threw for 5,000, too. And he could throw this bitch all over the field, though. We know that. I just feel like, man, Kamara better break the, break the record in touches. Man. Kamara better get the most touches in NFL history. He better Kamara get the MVP NFL this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that. Now that's a good one. See, that's a good one. See, Kamara, Kamara MVP. That's a good one. Cause I think I think he gonna slow down. If we win Winston. a lot of games. He could win the fucking MVP. Nah, I mentioned Winston winning the MVP. That's right. just like thinking everything going right. But I feel like Sean Payton gonna slow him now. Two quarterback system. We're gonna be he different. Come tear it up like Marshall. We're gonna be year. different. And we're gonna Elvin Kamara, trick Marshall. play. We gonna Sean McVay this shit. You know what I'm saying? We still gonna two quarterback. We gonna, we gonna two team. quarterback. We gonna yeah. trick play you. We gonna throw it deep. We gonna keep Jameis in a, a cool little box. Taysom Hill gonna play a big part. And we playing deep. We playing D and Alvin Kamara, y'all ain't gonna be able to stop him. I mean, the, the model is there, though. If you really look at it, and they saying like recent seasons, the Saints have had a Super Bowl, a bust mentality. This year, it's all about answering those big questions to shape the future. 
They held on to most of their foundational players from their run of recent success, but the roster wide depth they relied upon so heavily the last two seasons, especially to the big hit. It will not be surprising to see the Saints at or near the top of the NFC Heat, nor would it be surprising to see that they missed the playoffs and died. Like everybody, it's a don't know with the Saints. If, if yeah. you look at what Jameis and Taysom are capable of, you might have one Drew Brees that is. I hope I'm right, bro, because this is what I'm saying. The common denominator to me is Sean Payton. Right. It's Sean Payton. Right. I fucks with Drew Brees. He, he liked that. Dog. Like yeah. that. But I feel like he overshadowing that Sean Payton a dog, man. He a dog. He, he going to get Winston right. He going to be better. And I, I honestly think we can win with Taysom Hill. I feel like we can win with him. Nah, it may be tougher. We may, we may, we may not. We can win a division if it get ugly in our division with Taysom Hill. But I still think in the offs, if we had Taysom Hill at quarterback, we spooking people out. Right. Because they don't know how we coming. We spooking people out. Now, a good defense, I think, man, we're going to be able to handle this. But, man, you not saying he Lamar Jackson. But, man, you playing Lamar Jackson, you, you don't know what's about to happen, partner. You don't know what's about to happen. Now, Taysom Hill, to me, is more like a Cam Newton going to run over you and run past you. He's still a little – he's still he, different. And guess what, though? Well, guess what's crazy about him? People don't know. He the fastest player on our team. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, he the Taysom fastest – Taysom Hill. He the fastest player on the Taysom team. He's been playing around Breeze all for the last two years. He's five, ten yards. Yeah, yeah, man. He about to give Sean Payton a deep threat with Winston. Sean Payton gonna get these first down with and these boys. And they boy Callaway or whatever in that cutting up that wide receiver yeah, from Tennessee. Man. He yeah, done moved to the team. number one receiver spot. The dude from Tennessee. See, but look. But now, more besides the Saints, dude. Uh, man, seen to me, the league deep this year. Bro. It look like we got thirty-two teams, right? Man, it seemed like. 22 to 25 teams is good. Really. It could seem like that now. But no. niggas going to be getting beat. Yeah. I, I know that, but, dog, everybody got to look something, dog. I ain't lying. Everybody got to look something. See, in football, it be spread out like that Listen. where you might not – yeah. Outside looking in, you like, fuck, I don't know who really, you know. Yeah, everybody got to look something. Who. But – Somebody got to get beat because. Think about it. Think about it. Bes besides, besides Detroit, the Jets. I mean, you put Jacksonville there too? Yeah. Besides Detroit, the Jets, Jacksonville, and Washington. Outside yeah. that. Man, everybody, playoff contention. Joe Burrow now, I'm just saying, my nigga. Frisco, I'm just saying. All the teams that didn't make the playoffs, but they really good on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a little potential. You know what <laughs> right. I think it come down to, though? <laughs> right. You know, because you, be, you could be playing okay, and it be two, three plays is the reason why you one and three. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? The chemistry and morale and everything else Look, play a part. You know, it's all y'all going to keep it in and try to really Anderson. get this season. You know, it's tough in the Ooh, NFL. Bro. But, though, you got to look out for the Giants. They're another sleeper. I say Quan Barkley serious, and I like their quarterback. He can run and everything. Dude, I um, – Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, I like him. But body loaded that receiver. Sterling Shepard, Kadavis Kade Tony, that dude who left from Detroit who cut up, made a Pro Bowl or whatever. They just gave him the money. I forgot his name. He, All right, Ebron. No, no, that's the tight end. Yeah. Uh, they got him. And they got. He the second string. They tight end. A1. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I can't think of his name. Um, it's, not, it's not Evan Ingram, I don't think. It's a new cat. 
He got the money. Yeah, he one of the best tight ends in the league. I, I know you talking about that and they got the dude. He's special. Kadavis Tony. Y'all niggas really be knowing about the shit. <laughs> shit, bro. Kadavis Tony. I'm going to give you another really example. You know, done. just how I give you that example with fucking um, the Giants. Sneak it, but the the most... Look. The the darkest horse in the whole league to me is Cincinnati. Yeah. The darkest horse in the whole NFL. Cause they can fuck around and go to the Super Bowl or something. That's how I look at this. They, they they got everything. They got the poorest team, but I see that. No, what I'm saying? They, like, they got they, the offense got and potential they offense to be a one. one. Yeah. yeah they might All they received was cold. They, yeah. they Cincinnati remind me of Damn, who I wanted to throw in there? Pittsburgh when they was young, like a like just a young when ass they team. Had all them niggas, just like a, you Sanders. know, like the Fab Five, Michigan or something. Remember you know, they, had they just going against seniors, yeah. doing Listen, them dirty. Remember when they had Brown Sanders and Mike? They had Brown Sanders and Mike from Crowley River. Yeah, <laughs> Mike Wallace. They had all three of them together. That's what I want With the to young know. Ben throwing it all over the field, they just couldn't beat the Colts in New England. Couldn't beat Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. You know what they could possibly be? They, they uh, electrifying player away. And, of course, a lot of winning and getting it done. KC. KC. Yeah. <laughs> like, they got more talent. Cause like I said, I'm fucking receiver with Joe. wise and shit. Joe, long as Joe stay healthy, Joe. Man, Joe. And both of they Joes. Cause that boy in the backfield oh, just yeah. as good as anybody in the league. Yeah, Joe Mixon. Yeah. Joe Mixon from Oklahoma. Yes, he just had got in that trouble and, dro- and dropped in the draft. Everybody know. Joe Mixon stay healthy. They team stay healthy. They gonna be hard to beat. And they're in that division. I know Lamar and I'm like, man, they're in that division with Pittsburgh. Dog, the AFC North and the NFC East. Ain't nothing fucking with that. That's the two toughest divisions in football. Her blank period. They ain't, ain't nothing for the big. Not the NFC East. The NFC East, nigga. Frisco, the Rams. That's the East or that's the NFC West? The West, I meant to say. Yeah, the, the West. West. I'm tripping. The NFC, the NFC West yeah, and the East. Cowboys. And the, yeah, the NFC. That's the poorest division. The NFC West and the and the, and the AFC um, North. Because the and out, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get a, the toughest division in the league. I thought it was the NFC West. Looking at this shit, it's the AFC North. It's Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and Cincinnati. That division tougher than the Ram division. I'm going to give it a little notch over it. I'm going to give it a little notch over it. Just because you got Ben, Lamar. A good Cleveland a good with Cleveland Baker. A good Cleveland team with Baker. And, and, you, got, and you got the young KC. And you, and you got these. They get, yeah, they, exactly. They, yeah. The, most, the best young talent in, in, the, in the NFL. Yeah. That division, I'm gonna get them the notch. I'm gonna say right now. I didn't think about that. Yeah, by Cleveland up division, in it like that. That's the best division that's, in that, the that league. That could be the best division in the whole for sure. league. That for is. sure. That's for the sure. best division in the league. Because the quarterbacks better. You got fucking Jimmy. You got Matthew Stafford now, Russell Wilson, and you got an up and coming Kyler uh, and Trey Lance. Well, Trey Lance got to come, you know. Kyle and Murray, they, well, they gonna run two quarterback system. Dude, I already told you they coach Trey is playing. Trey gonna play. You hear that? Yeah, he said it. Trey Lance is gonna play. So, but like, like I said, I get that nice to that division. You know, I get that nice. Yeah. Because I came here, cause, like I said, y'all need an algebra spot, y'all. Give me some local, some prep football, basketball. Uh, now look, I, I look. Oh, we was about to get to that. It's, it's we the about thing, to get to that in the It's few. the thing. We got to get right. to that now. We look at the thing. We this won. this was our plan today. I mean, we got here late. Our plan was I'm to, we was given a list on the best football players from New Orleans and the best basketball players from New Orleans. Now, our time is limited today. But, but this is how we going to do it. Yeah. We going we gonna to brainstorm on it. We're going to politic on it. We're going to do like a, 
uh, after 2000. We just right. going, you know, we going to come off the head, see what we got with that. And then probably the next episode, we'll probably go with our history before 2000, you know what I'm saying, on both levels, because yeah. fuck, it's a lot of talent that came through the city, bro. We might piss off a few people, right. you know, no disrespect. Not, you know, because we may forget some people. You know, it's a lot of people, bro. a lot of people, though. You know, and, you know, our number one picks may not be who y'all number one picks won't be, you know. Because we're going to make it controversy. We're going to have to. We can't just name niggas. We're going to have to be like who the best, who number two. Oh, I can tell you. You know, we got to give y'all something We're going to give you the list. I can tell you my best. Week one. I can can, listen. I can break it down. High school start this week? Yeah, they scrimmage. Kennedy had the fight yesterday. Them and Martin Luther King, they might be suspending them for the season. Kennedy, see, but Nevers, bro. I hope they don't fire Nevers, bro. Because that, 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 that ain't Nevers. That ain't Nevers' fault, Coach man. Coach Wayne punch a train coach at Martin Luther King. No, but I'm talking about the, when I seen the video, Kennedy team came storming to their team. Nigga punched all on the referee, knocked him out. They went over there and... It's over. That's a whole charge right there. They might be suspended for the season. Then you know that fight with Carver when they took all Carver games and all that? The fight was with Kennedy. Mm. So they about to take... They about to take... They se- they about to take Kennedy's season. Yeah, they about to take their season, brother. But, they, they but um, know, man. you know, just since, since we just giving you a preview... You know, I could I could give you really my best. I could give you my best in both sports right now, and we can come with the list. Mm-hmm. But hit them with it then. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm 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 always say you know. I grew up downtown. I moved to the seven wall from uptown, dog. But I'm from uptown, brother. Greedy gonna always be the best in my eyesight. You know, I always tell my big dog that. My big homie Greedy is the best I ever seen come through New Orleans. Randy Livingston, yeah, I was six years old and shit going to the game, so I can't really see Randy. So when I say the best I seen is Greedy. Football, <laughs> Lanaris L. Page, and speed and no. And I seen everybody. Lanaris L. Page and Speedy No is my best two that I seen. Nah, the best football player I grew up with, the most talented football player that's I seen. A, that's a good one too. The most talented football with. player that I come up with is David Boyd. Yeah. I, I didn't know you was going to go yeah, deep, boy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, uh, David, <laughs> my look, dog. David Boyd is the best pure football player yeah. I come up with in my age bracket. I'm talking about if you born in 1984, 85, 86, you know, you come up downtown in that seven wall, uh, you know, you played at the Auger, you played ball in the city, boy. You know about David Boyd. Yes, indeed. David Boyd. Yes, indeed. Serious. Yes, indeed. Best kept secret. He, I got to admit that. As far as with my eyes, football, right? he going to be in my top two, D-boy. Yeah. I done saw that dude yeah. do some unbelievable shit Best on the football field. Best pound for pound football player I seen was David Boy. And the, and the, and, and, and it was the, crazy. And, and the two and the two electric flying. And he players, didn't even play offense. L Page and Speedy, they they just goats. He ain't they, play they, offense. They That's my the goats. That boy Lenevis was a goat. Yeah, Lenevis. is my all time yeah. favorite high school New Orleans football player. Period. Lenevis L Page. Yeah, I don't think he's like I'm with talking about. When I was young, I used to catch the bus. Everywhere. If I had to, if, if I couldn't get a ride, it's cold. It could be November. We putting them jackets on, boy. We about to go catch this bus way across the river to go see the Nevers play. You know, this was before the internet. <laughs> this was before iPhones when they could stream the game and all that. Yeah. And you can watch it at your house and shit. Yeah. You had to go see this shit live in person. What no? The real deal. The Nevers LP. Jonathan Wells, another one. Oh, Jonathan Wells was a dog. John Curtis. Yeah. Yeah. Jonathan Wells. That boy yeah. was scary. On he the was team. a dog. Him that and the him and the I Bush see, brothers. I'm gonna see my best football. 
who I think come out football. So you was you was in football more than me early on, as far as going and knowing about them and all that. So my shit started a little late as far as even being knowledgeable of it. But if I had to give a pick on top of football, because I really was thinking basketball most of the time, top of football, it's probably going to have to be, it's probably going to have to be Leonard, bro. Leonard Fournette. I, mean, I feel you, I feel you. Leonard Fournette, he, I, I mean, it was, you. I ain't never saw no shit like that before. You know, you. and that's after my time. You know, D, D Boyd is in my yeah. class, my age, 04. We yeah. graduated 04, D Boyd. And other than that, it probably was Mike Franklin and Philip Brock, oh, oh, brother that's Martin. A, that's another person. Um, the seven wall guard, Michael Franklin. Mike Franklin. When I moved you from way, downtown, baby. that's the first name I. That's the first name I heard in sports. Yeah. As soon as I came outside and Mike Franklin, and, Mike Franklin and, and, and met friends. He a goat Michael too, Franklin, like. goat. Yeah, he goaded. Mike, you go with it. Mike, yes, you know indeed. I fuck with you. Mike, go with it. The best to come nah, through. If the I wouldn't have saw Leonard, it would have been an time. easy Mike. Yeah. Leonard just was, you know. Yeah. See, I didn't see much of Wells, though. I knew about him. I didn't oh, see a lot of them. One person I'm forgetting. Nah, I'm gonna go to the defensive side of the ball. If it, it'll never be another Daryl Johnson from Old Perry Walk across the river. Ten picks play on both sides of the ball. Daryl Johnson, best defensive player, period. Now, D Boy, he was a different type of animal. He come now and played the run, played in the box and all that. Daryl, there was two different type of players, but Daryl was like Ed Reed and Deion Sanders put together. You know, he was Ed Reed and Deion Sanders put together, though. Defense. That's what I'm saying. It's hard to see. I can't call out really by name. Yeah. It's it's hard to yeah. It's hard to judge that. Man, D boy, you gonna hear his name all night. Tackle by David Boyd. And uh, tackle by just David Boyd. Drafting right now. Another all person. night. Seventeen tackles. Fifteen tackles. So, See. I can tell you about the Hineville game. We played Hineville in the playoffs, bro. At Hineville, the dude he scored every way you could score against the Landry and brothers. He don't play offense. That was against Levon Landry and Leron Landry. This was against, that was, yeah, that was no. against the Landry brothers. This was because he kicked. He kicked. He punted. He was the punter. He was the kicker. Well, he kicked, I think he kicked kicked off or something. And he was the backup kick, yeah. you know, kicker. Yeah. The dude got a fumble return for a touchdown. He blocked the punt, I think, for a touchdown. He ran a two-point conversion into some shit. Like, they put him in the net. So, he had, like, 20 tackles. I think he had a pick six or something, too, bro. Right. Like, it's some nigga who ball for this game. That, 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 that game of food. Say, bro, he still say to this day that's the best football game he ever been to. That Highville game because though we went up, it was we was up by like and, twenty. And Highville won state that year. We was up twenty something on them. Three Highville, if, I, if all were the one, they the went to the Them people can't beat us in overtime on a two point conversion. You know, I think we kicked it and they went for two and got it. Came back. D boy cut up. But basketball. basketball, man. I told basketball. you, greedy. You say greedy. I, greedy. I was in the district when I when I was at like Yeah, greedy. And prolific, but it was like a duck off because they had a nigga in back room. I forgot his name. You talking about Lester Earl? Yeah. He was the number one player in the country. Like but we gonna name, we gonna get yeah. to the whole state of Louisiana. Yeah. But we, we don't really want to get the less. Lester, Lester yeah, Earl right. was the number one player <laughs> in, the in the country. Wayne Mitchell. Dwayne Mitchell. Yeah. So Dwayne Mitchell. Kennedy. Athletic. Right. But I saw. Stan no, indeed, Greedy was jumping out the gym. I saw, I saw Brandon Spann play. I saw Hollis and Quadis play. Um, that 
that boy from Miller was playing play that judgment. I saw that boy go for like 45, was bad one for like 50. They have been 60. So just like that style of play they played at Kennedy was new. Yeah. Like that whole team. Throwing ads yeah. and all that. Yeah, like, you know, I went to Kennedy. Shit. The I went there. West. Yeah, that's my. They're older than me. I saw that boy play me. in high school that same year. In, in fucking PG County. I'm like, they was playing the same style of basketball. I'm like, okay, Kennedy really doing it. And I, and I knew Wayne. So I was looking at Wayne mm-hmm. in the fucking gym. But it's Wayne had to work on his hand. Like, just pure in person. That boy. That boy's fan was pulled out from anywhere. I that told them be spam. Tyler's work, dog. I told them. But that boy is spam. Now he look. He was early in the. Now look. Across the timeline. This is good. Hit it. Are you throwing? This is a good question. To Ramel it. Who you taking, Bo, Bo Lester or Span? I don't know who Lester is. You talking about? <laughs> yeah, Bo. See, you, 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 oh. you, 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 you. No, 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 no. You ain't talking about that. No. You, but you look, I'm gonna go. Lesson. <laughs> I'm a good. Yeah. I mean, you just went on and said, "Greed to your best." Well, my best, who I say is DJ, right? DJ Augustine, right? I mean, I don't know if your song. He, pro- yeah, he, pro- he ain't that big. He ain't that fast. But he gonna bust your ass for sure, for sure. Duhon, Duhon, I saw Duhon, I saw Duhon, but I seen Brandon Spann that. punish him. Yeah. He was the number one player in the country. Duhon I was at the game like at Jesuit. I seen Brandon Spann them beat him and everything. Duhon felt like a pro. Strap third on him yeah. and everything. Spann. I love. Yeah, Duhon, I saw that boy. I love. I saw Spann kill him. Yeah. Like, I even saw though. Duhon said, give me the ball, I'm about to win the game. And that nigga off seven seconds. Like, no, like, hesitation, no. Nerve, no time. That bit was that they closed the door at Jesuit. That bit was packed. It sold out. Shit, chat, boy. Number one point guard in the country in the house. Do huh? Against this dude who committed the two lane with the bush. Mm-hmm. Ran the span, pulling it from way back there like coverage. Now, I'm going to say my second with my eyes, though, coming out. I'm going both. I'm fucking, I'm fucking with Bo. The best in my era is Bo. I'm going Bo. Now, well, DJ in your era, era too. DJ in my era, but he younger than us. But yeah, he in our era. Yeah, he, you know, he mean. younger than us, but he in our era. But I'm going to go with Bo. Bo was tearing his bitch up. You know what I'm saying? Bo was tearing it up, dude. You know what I'm saying? Bo played that walk. Bo Perry walk. Man, Bo was putting up numbers, man. Bo damn near led the country in scoring in college. Right. You don't know. It was like him and J.J. Reddy. Yeah. You know, like he scored averaging 70, 30 eight, and he shit. He scored 78 or something on Ben Franklin. Cool. Yeah. You couldn't stop Bo, bro. You couldn't stop Bo. And, you know, to add, well, I wanted to add to if I had a, a different cat. Even though I saw it a little bit, but this new, the new school shit, the... The nigga Lamar Peters. Man. Tell the nigga. That nigga go. That my little boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah Shout Green out Light. Yeah. I been knew he was a dog. He, Green he, Light. When he was 10 years old. When he, you know, because he was, he knew him before me. Shit. We used yeah. to go to this game when they were like 19th grade. Mm-hmm. But man, this little dude used to be shooting that bitch like with no regard. Like, f- fuck a nigga. Like. I think we was at the game. They got ten threes in the Larry Center. In the Larry Center, in front of that You know, he got some cojones. You hear me? Yeah, like, boy, he, he dropped. He, he hit eleven threes in front of LSU coach. You hear me? So, you know the game. Who was the coldest nigga to make? Like in the league? In the league. Yeah. DJ. DJ. Oh, yeah. Like Kerry Kittle. Kerry. In no wise, it's it's. I mean, if you look at DJ, DJ career, bro, in the league, he been in there like thirteen. He was years. a starter, a main. Kevin Kittles was an all star. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Kittles was an all star. Yeah. He. What about Donna Roy? Donna Roy was an all star. I don't, I don't think, think so. I don't think so. But he was on that team with Shaq, right? I think Don Royal was on the team with Shaq. Yeah. yeah, I think he was. 
You got Rose on the team, Shay. So, Avery Johnson. Avery, yeah. Avery got some rings. <laughs> he got some rings now, bitch. I come pull up. You talk that shit, it come pull up. Period. I got the rings, bitch. What you talking about, you talking about you man? Right One dude you got to mention, Tim Bush, from Crowd the River. From yeah, Shell. but we ain't get on cold niggas yet. We just mentioned some yeah. top dogs. Yeah, Tim no, Bush, I, I fucked with Tim Bush. Tim Bush. He, he, he mentioned who, who, who made it, though, <laughs> in the league. Who made it, yeah. You know? Fuck, uh... Alfred Payne, but fuck, he... It's like he ain't find the right, right spot shit. Like, I feel like he could do his thing. I don't, think, I don't know if he, he got a chance to... He made it. Oh, no, he made it for <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, he asked... Who's the best? He asked who's the now best who made Greg it Monroe, out of it. Like Greg Monroe. Signed the max deal and shit. Greg Monroe. Remember Greg? He went to Helen Cox. Helen Cox. Went to Georgetown. Went to Georgetown. I did not know that shit. Went to Helen Cox. You ain't know that? You know Greg Monroe. You know what we talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, boy, I can ball. Yeah, that's crazy. He's he the overseas. One, he was the number one player in the country. That's yeah. Seven feet tall could shoot the three the and shit. The no, that's yeah. Old, my I mean, fuck, you know. That's crazy. Man. Big boy can handle the rock. It's past the rock. Oh, man, player. we tripping, man. We And we went to St. Oh, Hollis Price and Quinas White. Hollis Price and Quinas. I put, I put them two as one of the best down. duos I've seen together. Yes, indeed. Like, if you're going to go that duo. That was one of the best one-two punches I've If you're going to go duo, yeah, for no, sure. No, 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 no. Really, the only duo I seen better was Greed and Dino, the, no, the brothers. That game against That was the only duo I seen better. Just with that just they won two game titles game. together, the brothers. Yeah. They won two titles. And I was at that all championship game last year, dog. Them boys were. All yeah, won one. But all really was supposed to win three. What about Eugene Eggerson? That was in 1995. They were the number one team in the and country. They won the they, yeah, that they was number one in the country. That was 95. Yeah. Mitch was the point guard. Yeah, Mitch was the point guard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kevin Killers was on that team, yeah. I want to say. Was Coach Mills on that team? That's 95. Yeah. Coach no, Mills before them. Mills before them. Yeah. That's 95. Mills older than them. Yeah, this is 95. I remember that. Year. Yeah, 95 is when they went undefeated. Yeah. Mills them like 19, 9, or 9 and 1, man. Right? Class of like 9 and 1 and shit. All right, all right, all right. I definitely remember that year. Yeah. They were the number one team in the nation. Nigga, national. Nation. They won the they national had championship. The number one ranking, bitch. National, national champions. champions. Matter of yeah. fact, we're not going to all. I always look up, up at them. The all got the banner. I remember. National champion. Nas- national I'm champion. I'm for them bitches. 1995, national no. champion. Chip, first name Chip, last name Peon. Yeah. We out so here. the thing about it, fuck, I'm saying DJ, DJ close, but I don't know. Kerry Kittles yeah, probably got a better. Kittles got to the chip and everything. I mean, I mean, you know, Kittles ain't got a chip. Got to. He got to it, dude. Mm-hmm. Jason you know, Kidd and them. Was the star two guard yeah. on the team. Kittles, yeah. Had the Kittles had a better DJ. basketball that career than DJ. Yeah. If we had, you know, but they both did great things, but you know. Time, though, dog. That nigga Kittles was a dog. Yeah, this was a dog. He's right before my. I caught him in he that. That's when I dog. got on him. Yeah. Was close to Villanova. That dog. Yep. That boy was a dog. I was on him. See, Spud was a dog no, too. No. Mitchell, a brother. Spud. Spud, yeah. Bullshit. Spud. Spud. Was a Spud dog. used to come practice with us, boy. Spud. You know, Mitch was my, my freshman coach. Yeah, Spud was serious. Spud was shooting that bitch from so far. Everywhere. Fuck no Mitch. Mitch would get that too. The team that got back in the national championship discussion was Greedy. Yeah, they won. Yeah, Greedy just put me on a Boston Greedy. shootout Listen, with Greedy, Greedy and Lester Earl. And, them boys for Listen. Listen. But this was like murder capital time. I yeah. was on the Greedy, Listen. Now Greedy. I was at that Greedy. 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 And You're came in a, came a second place in the big tournament. That's how Greedy got invited to the McDonald's All American game and, and all that. Yeah, he went yeah. to UNLV yeah. and then he went to TCU. But when he was in UNLV, he played with Sean Marin. Sean Marin, that was his dog. Yeah. He was on the team. They made the tournament and shit. Him and Sean Marin, and them, he was smoking the weed on that West yeah. Coast. You know what I'm saying? He got put out the team. Definitely. Just just yeah. different errors. But uh, yeah. as far as with them coin games, you know how. 
Kennedy and all that, when Wayne and them played, they had the DJ and all that. Wasn't nothing like a coin game when Greedy and them played. DJ Jubilee on the yeah. ones and twos, nigga. Wasn't nothing yeah. fucking with that. When coin was in their prime, yeah. wasn't no gym jamming in America like coin, boy. Yeah. When coin was winning that bitch with Greedy and them, dog. It was, Greedy and them was a show, dog. You had to get there, nigga, four o'clock, five o'clock. You better be there for the girls' game. Day, DJ like Jubilee, that was unheard of. They had color. DJ right. Jubilee bring them out. Yeah. G- G- DJ down. Jubilee bring them out. They playing bounce all that while they warming up. Mm-hmm. Jubilee on the ones and twos, you know, for the free. You know, he went to con. Mm-hmm. He just <laughs> happened to do for it. For the free. <laughs> for the free. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jubilee in that bitch. Boy, I'm telling I know you. that bitch used to go down. No. I knew that bitch good. I saw hey, like that bitch good. Standing, out. standing room only. He started that, and then, er, then yeah. after that, that set the trend. All the new, all the schools. They got the DJ for the game. Jubilee them started that con. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of them don't Greed have it though. A, well, Greed when I played, was a show. You know what? Well, we was in the Cali League. They wasn't on that That's shit. Yeah. Fuck well, no, hey, boy. That shit was live. Yeah. You think my people let them go to? Like, we all went deep, deep to Clark, to a Clark game my senior year when Clark was, was up there. We had so much time. About yeah. It. Man, that went, um, shit. When the twins and them, them niggas must have been like sophomores, juniors, or something like that. And I'm like, dog, oh. yeah, this was an adventure for us. You think we was going to like Booker T and Corn and all that. Right. Booker T like, tournament used to be like, live. Booker T tournament. Hey. Yeah, that's the fire games, dude, bro. Let them bitches playing at Carver and like shit. Man, oh, come on, man. They used to call Carver old gym the dungeon. Uh, See, bro. Football, nigga. Uh, uh, all three five game or something like that. See, bro. It, that's some fire games. Them bitches like that. That's some fire I remember that playing games. at Carver, nigga. It's real. You can't, you know, it's standing room on this. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no where the good niggas talking shit. You know, you know. All type of shit. Even that brother Martin, that was a, that was like a college atmosphere. Yeah. And that bitch, like yeah. when DJ the was there, crazy. we playing that. He got when fucking they the yeah. They got the, the fans, no, the, the studio the section. The, 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 that's Duke. Uh, Man, they call themselves something, my brother Martin. That was the first game I couldn't really hear myself or hear a nigga. Like, boy, you know, I don't know what you said on the court. It's too loud in here. That was the first time I felt like that at Brother Mark with DJ No. So Hollis no one state, right? Yeah. All right, they won it one time. Yeah, no, Hollis no was supposed to yeah, win it back to back, quarters. but they fucked up one year. Oh yeah, man, yeah, Hollis and yeah, man yeah, went they up. Did. They did. They. They did not win it though. Yes, they did. Though. Hollis them didn't win it, huh? No man, no. cause. The last championship I thought was when Eugene the them. Was uh, Egg- Eugene Eggerson them. No. I think they took one back. No. I think they won it and they took it back because illegal player. Some shit like so that. That's what the it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they, happened. I was at that game. That's what uh, happened. They won that bitch. They was running four yeah. corners like six minutes left in the fourth. Yeah. It was it. I died. I was at that game. That was my scene. That was my junior. No, that was my senior year. So Hollis and them were gone. They did not win. The next yeah, year, they got there was so good. The yeah, big was, it was they Hollis got from somewhere else. Yeah, he come from somewhere else somewhere or something. Somewhere else. And they did win it that year, and they did take it back. Because it, it, it was a nigga that went to Dillard. Um, Fredo. Fredo was still young. Fredo was in ninth yeah. grade. Yeah. Fred was in ninth grade when it happened. <clears throat> and he played varsity, but it was some, it was, I forgot who was what with him. What year, what year that, Duplessis name yeah, or something? Say, y'all. Yes. Guess what? No, man. No, Duplessis. Hollis Price them won it in 1999. Yeah. 54-48, they beat South Lafouche. Yeah. That's Hollis now. 99. Because when I'm in the eighth grade, I'm, I'm, I'm in the ninth Who's grade in 2000. Hollis them was out of school. Hollis them senior year was 99. 99. I was at that game. They I wanted. Know, they, and that's the one they took back. No. Oh, no. no. If they took it back, it wouldn't be on here. All right. All they, right. They wanted. They wanted to get it. In ninety nine. 
All right, all right. How does them that one now? Yes. Yes. Damn, why I can't and remember Shaw that. And Shaw won it in 2000. And Jesuit beat Shaw in 2001. Tim Bush, that's 2000. In the oh. year 2000, that's Tim Bush. Tim now. Bush won that bitch too? Yeah, Tim Bush and them won that. Fucking right. The year 2000. That's Tim Bush. And what's cool? Sean. They won it in 2000. Tim Bush went to Tulane. Yeah, they won it in 2000, nigga. I can remember that. Yeah. Howard Connor, Abe Hamilton was on that team, I think. And Cohen, one of the best games I've ever been to when the game was at LSU campus. This was in 1997. I was 12. Yeah. Khan beat Allender 59-58. 59. Khan was down by like 15 points or something in the game. You said 97? In 1997. Yeah. And look, it was brothers versus brothers. I mean, it was brothers versus twins. Yeah, it was Green and Dino, and Allender had a set of twins. Mm -hmm. i never forget, first play of the game, twin to twin. Huh, them people come out on corn, boy. Mm -hmm. Dude had to hit the free throws for him to win the game. Teddy. Yeah, man, Teddy had to hit the free throws. We was up there. <laughs> Greedy them almost lost that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, we almost lost that one. That wasn't the championship used to be at LSU. My dad, I tell you, boy, I don't know who that was. Greedy shook that boy. My pa said, he, that nigga shook him out of Baton Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> One of the key players of the game, Greedy shook the piss out this nigga. Greedy shook the piss out this nigga from Ellender. Bing, bing, you hear me? Whoosh, hit that bitch, you dig? Some type of way, yeah, the dude Teddy went up. You know, that was a long time ago, but Teddy ended up hitting the free throws they won. 59 58, brothers versus brothers. I don't even know who them brothers was from Ellen. Yeah. Hopefully somebody yeah, tap in the link or something. Let me you know. Lucky bitch, you was. No, that's his paw was all in anybody, it. If anybody, if anybody, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't catch the game. When I was them young. Brothers, link it in the, send it in the link, put it in the comments or something. I need the name of them brothers Actually, from Ellen. Yeah, I need they the, need I, I need the name of them <laughs> brothers from <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> First <laughs> player of the game. <laughs> Boom! I don't greet in them. Them dudes coming to show greet in them. We the brothers. You know, greet in them had already won it. Already. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they got the hype. Greet it. Best player in the state. Woo woo. Yeah, 59 58. They battling one. But yeah, Tim Bush won them one in the year 2000. Show. They beat Fell Pop. What about your boy, uh, Chaz Dice, did he won it? Chaz Dice, they, Kawhi did he Leonard, win it? bro. Chaz Dice, probably was the best won it. player in the city in his time. Chaz Dice was nice. Did, Carver, did, did, did he? I think he won it too. I what? think they won it. The Chaz, Chaz? No. yeah, fucking right. Chaz no won it. And look, I pulled it up. He was class of 03. Chaz, Chaz Dice. was class of I know on them Carver teams that was winning it. Chaz Dice was the man. I know this. Chaz was the they Chaz won Dice it was the man. They won it in 03. Then they went then they went then they moved to 5 A, I think, in 04. Let me see. And, lo and no, lost it all. Carver lost it in 02. They lost it. Uh, 03. Dude and them senior year. No, 02. No, I said they won it in 03. Yeah, they lost it in 02. They won it in 03. Yeah, they won it in 03. Just, yeah, Paulo got it that year too. Paulo and then Michael Jackson. Yeah, Paulo was in the 11. Chaz and them was a scene. Michael Jackson and Michael uh, Jackson and all of them. The mind, the exquisite. Yeah. You heard him see Fool. He was on that team too. Yeah. I, that's how I remember all the boys playing ball. Yeah. The, um, damn, yeah Chaz and was I though. thought Carver had two chips. But they that's lost what I, it. That's what I was thinking. I they, thought Chaz I thought and them they had won two. it. No, but they lost it in and 0 2 then, and they won it in 03. That's crazy. You, St. You Martinsville know beat them in 03. They beat St. Thomas. St. Martinsville. Was that Martin Zeno and them? Because Woodlawn, that year, Woodlawn, Woodlawn beat was. the piss out um, Brother Martin. And then the final four, because this is what the final four was. Woodlawn played Foshi. And Chris Nell. Yeah, at Chris Ivan Lee now. 
They played Woodlawn, and Woodlawn beat DJ Nump. That's DJ freshman, yeah. They lost by... They ain't beat 17. They lost eight, by 17? 80 to 63. Ooh. Woodlawn won like two, 60 games. They, they had two six they six They won it the two years. Yeah. They won it like back to back. Woodlawn yeah, you know, that year. Brother Martin beat St. Aug in 04, 48, 47. And then in 05, Brother Martin blew Thibodeau out. 80 to 6, 70. In 05. Mm-hmm. 06 is the, 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 the hurricane season moving team. Like, um, with everybody going to different schools and shit, niggas was winning buku chips because what y'all not talking about basketball. Niggas, basketball. basketball. Curtis won it every year. And what? Football. Yeah, man, but they was winning four. two. They was winning two and three a titles. I played against them niggas. Yeah, they were four a. Yeah, no, they wasn't. They no. ain't, they ain't start playing four a until like ninety nine. I played in ninety nine. I knew they yes. ain't start. Everything before '99 yeah, they won 20 championships was Pee Wee football. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they won championships. Won before. up until '96, '97. Yo, as soon as they made that jump, it was Evander and West Monroe. Yeah, they went to five A. Curtis, Curtis ain't Curtis never won't go to five A. Man, we gonna have a segment about that. Boys Curtis ran. ain't never won't get up to the big man, level. Ran. They ran away from the Catholic right, League. True. But besides why they ain't Curtis, go, why they want to play in the Catholic League when the Catholic League was begging them to come? They came in the Catholic League when the Catholic League was watered down. They ran away. Girl. They ran away from the Catholic League. League. Nigga, it, was they, Franklin, come on, man. Coin, Clark, Lawrence, e. Coley Classic. Landry. Man, don't play no game. Man, them people was playing. No, I'll tell you what the when they made the jump. They played in the public school. Yeah, they made the jump because they know who was in that district. They named all them schools. They ran away from the Catholic League, man. What they got to do with you doing them in the playoffs? Yeah, yeah, real. I mean, of course, Curtis still going to get their respect. I just don't respect their football good. program. He just know they could be at the top level. I don't level. respect That's their all. football program. I don't Boy, respect it. Chips. I don't respect Boy, it. Chips. That's all they bought, yeah, chips. I mean, they yeah, that's another thing. Baseball, I don't know. But football, I don't respect their football baseball, program. Baseball, yeah, too. But, you know, they River Ridge. They're, yeah. they still River Ridge. If you want to go all in these parish or something, no. But you act like they players weren't coming from the N.O. They yeah, some of the main from. players are. Like, but it's more fire when... You got Easton yeah. and Carr and, you know, all these people, all these parents. state championship for the first time ever in history. Like, yeah, like, oh, yeah, man. McMahon just won. I bet you ain't going to get in that public school district now. What? I bet you ain't wouldn't get in that district now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> he in the watered down Catholic League. Why he wasn't in the Catholic all League with Michael Franklin them, uh, yeah. with Philip Brock <laughs> them, with Burdett them? Yeah. Why he ran away from that? Why he wasn't in the Catholic League in the nineties? Shit, shit. When the Catholic League was the number one football district in the United States, the Catholic League in the nineteen nineties. Yeah, I, I remember that. No champions came out of the Catholic League. Yeah, because that district you was so tough. What's that got to do with you doing some of the playoffs? Yeah. They was beating up that on each other, my nigga. Nigga, week 11, week 11. What that got to do with you yeah. getting to week 11? That's bullshit. That's true. That's bullshit. I remember, I remember they had some article like That's that, dude. bullshit. Like it was the number one what? Divi- division or something. You? Some shit. I don't you know if it was that. I remember. Like it probably was, yeah. That, that, that might be so true. That's bullshit. <laughs> what that got to do? It is. Now I bet your Curtis, Curtis championships yeah. cut in half now if they was in the Academy League. League no, why? Because you talking about the five A. They win it since seventy five or something. Listen, Coach see, Dixon, them. He talking about five A. That's where it's a seventy five. That's okay. why the prestige of the state. The hardest thing to win in the world. The hardest thing to win in Louisiana is the five A football right. championship. But I thought you were the nation though. How the coldest in the nation, you're not coldest in the state. Not one They're talking about how state deep the division is. You know why? Because you got West Monroe and shit you got to play. That's a public school. I thought y'all can. Y'all exclusive. They, that don't mean they ain't what got the best mean? district. Because so they could be say, beat. You saying that all They ain't saying they can't be Like, you supposed to be exclusive. Yeah. Y'all best of the Catholic niggas in yeah, the world. Yeah. 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 Y'all got that. Y'all got that. That was a bad article. New Orleans and JP. 
Y'all the coldest niggas. But guess what? Right. That's some old nah. shit, nah. Yeah. Cause we yeah. running this shit. Yeah. We running this shit, nah. Call yeah, call West Monroe and all that. Schedule us, nah. Schedule, schedule one Eastern and come. Yeah. Schedule that. Yeah. Yeah. Schedule, yeah. schedule, yeah. schedule, yeah. schedule them. Oh yeah. Public school niggas out. Here. It, I ain't trying to rep up saying no football or nothing. Warren Eastern and now I know they did have a. I know, I know that division was tough with Michael Franklin, Philip Brock, and that. They, oh, it was wow. that motherfucking division. Um, Jesuit, uh, Paulette, Paul yeah. Um, Holy Cross, Steph, that, you know. Sharon Carey, all that was all in the everybody, division. Yeah. Nah, I could rep yeah, on that because I know, they know that. Bit. Yeah, but they ain't win a chip. Yeah, but it was tough, chip. dude. There was some Craig good teams. Craig Stokes, what's your boy's name? Is Craig Stokes from Jesuit from no from show. Playing in the league, playing for the Bears yeah. and all that, and playing uh, for show. You know who else was was, was uh, exciting? Damn, this speed, you know, uh, Skylar Green, bro. Right, Skylar Green. Skylar yeah. Green, he one of the best I ever seen too. He was he one of the best I saw with my game. eyes. With my eye, he the he the only person I saw with my eyes. See, give D boy a the, hard uh, time. Uh, Shout out to my school at the time. We was the number one defense in the state. Kennedy, Randy Banks in the middle. Yeah, man, hit. Josh, we man. Held, yeah, we held yeah, them. Josh, to, rest in peace. We Josh, held man. them to. We held them to a hundred yards. That was unheard of. He was fucking everything up. We held them to his worst game. Skylar Green when he come when he came play Kennedy. Randy and them was fucking him up. <laughs> What's that? Hey, y'all wasn't around with Mickey Dude. No, that's no. true. That's before us. No. Yeah. Yeah, Mickey Jones. You know, brother. we know we gonna be. He got some history in him with both sports, cause he, yeah. him, his party all been around. You know, they. But we gonna miss some people. Sharon Carey, one of the best I ever seen too. Now, like Sharon Carey in my top five too. I'm talking about he the only person I seen when it's time to kick it to him. Everybody stand up. He about to run it back. <laughs> he about to run it back. Everybody stand up. He might have he might have ran the most kicks back so I ever seen a nigga run back in, in in high school. You know what I'm saying? Number two, Sharon Carey. First he was the he was the running back. Him and his brother. Brandon Carey. His brother played with Randy Moss and at uh Marshall. But then the senior year, he played quarterback. They got to the dome twice. They lost to West Monroe two years in a row. And guess what happened? That's what they did two years in a row. At the end of the game, zero seconds left on the clock. Oh, whatever. No, one year was overtime, and one year is ten seconds left. They scored. They went for two both years and got stopped. That's tough. They went for two both years and got stopped. That's how they lost two championships. That when Hank was their coach, Hank Tierney, he the coach at Pontchartula right now. No, I was doing. Never winning one. I'm just thinking about some people too, Hank bro. Get him Ryan Perilou. Ryan Perilou. Oh, Ryan Perilou. Ryan Perilou. Was serious, bro. Ryan He's fucking Perilou. <laughs> man. Ryan Perilou, man. The fucking miracle baby, man. Ryan Perilou, too, bro. bro. Ryan Perilou, bro. Fucking three sport maniac, but yeah. football. He don't get in no trouble, bro. He. Yeah. I mean. He Deshaun yeah. Watson. He's you know he he may not be as loose with it, but right. he, he can throw this thing like you know he, he really was, was talented cold. like you know like he for real. Cold. Every week he, it was five six touchdowns. Ryan Perilou. Ryan, Ryan Perilou. Oh, oh Brock he Berlin. the best thrower of the football. That's the best offense I ever seen. Brock Berlin. Listen now, oh, yeah. and listen, my nigga. Nineteen ninety five. Five wide receivers, we in the dome. Man. <laughs> like this here. Look, at all the other schools come out, they running wing T and shit. They running the wing T and shit with the tight end behind the center. You fake it here. He come around some stupid shit. These people come out. Boy, nigga going in motion. Boy, look. Go to the passing records. He still got all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Go to them. Like 6,000 yards. Brock bro. Berlin. But uh, look, like, I'm going to tell you. Ma- matter of fact, four no. Years. No. 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 No.
No. Cause he been starting too. I'm you about know. to bring you all the way back, dude. Who passed the torch to Brock Berlin? Where all that evangel shit start from? Booty. Ooh, Josh, Josh Booty. Booty. That's Ooh. who invented the fucking spread offense the USC. in Louisiana. Josh Booty. No, that's the little oh, no, brother. That's the little brother. Yeah. That's the little brother. Giant Booty. Yeah. Giant David Booty. Yeah. yeah. That's the that's that's the little brother, huh? Yeah. yeah. Josh, I think Josh, Josh is the brother. Is the, the dog. I think yeah. Josh is the little brother. Is the little brother. Yeah, the little, yeah. All right, whatever it is. Yeah, Josh, Josh is, is the, is the, the, the dog. dog. All right. He the one who was the quarterback before Brock Berlin. Yeah. So yeah. they, they got him for four like, years, yeah. and then after that, he'll here come Brock, Brock Berlin, Berlin, the number well, one pass country. in the country. Yeah. He go, I think. Where he went? Arizona. What the fuck? Florida. Florida. It was him and Danny Werfel. Yeah, him and Danny Werfel. That you know your boy always him. like to run two quarterbacks. He did it with T Boy and Josh Leak. And he boy, did it with them. He did it with them two before that. Yeah, Brock Berlin was a dog. Like, Brock yeah. Berlin was First a dog. Because he was taking over for Josh Booth yeah. as a freshman. He would took over for Booth as a freshman. Slay they it. like, how you gonna replace Booty? Slay. That's how they Slay. that's how it was. How you gonna dog. replace Booty? And it came with Brock fuck? Berlin. Where yes. the fuck this boy can they came from? Yes. And what the fuck? Five, is, what is these people even know. doing? What is they doing? They even they yeah. They white. They yeah. But yeah, five six thousand yards a year, dog. Yeah. For four years. Slinging it. But we ain't tripping. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking the game look, up. We got the. Look. And they lost it the year they moved to five and played in West Monroe. Yeah, and they went up there and won it, dude. No, they they won. They got, them two, they, they got them two they they got them two 5A titles. They got that two. Nigga lost one. I think he they lost went up there from 3A and went up to 5A as soon as I they got up there they won it. Yeah, and they lost it too. But as soon as they got up there they won it. It's hard to win that chip, boy. It's hard to win that 5A five 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 chip. chip. Yeah. That's why you know uh yeah. I'm challenging cup. I'm putting it out there. Y'all beat up on 4A. Move up. Go get the go get the one. Go get the one y'all want. They still they they respect it. Don't get it twisted. Y'all have been in the dome ten out of eleven years. But at the same time, y'all didn't do it on five A. Y'all didn't do it on five A yet. I respect everything about y'all program. Turn them up. Y'all know how y'all do it. Test the waters. Bryce, T. Howard, test the waters. It's time to go up. Y'all got the listen. How many, how many car got? Four, right? Car got four or five. Four or five. Right? But guess what? All of them put together, still not that one them boys got down the street. Them boys down the street got that 5A <laughs> title. <laughs> them boys down the street got that 5A title. What it was? Tevin, you say what, what you want. Uh, Tevin, Tevin Bush. Bush yeah. Them boys say what you want. <laughs> Landry Walker got the prestige of the state, the 5A title. Ooh. The hardest, the hardest trophy, the hardest trophy to win in the state of Louisiana is the five A football championship. Yeah, Landry Walker got it. So I'm, I'm challenging Carl to move up. You could test the waters for two years and come back down. Y'all got to move up. It's time for y'all to go beat West Monroe now, and that's when we gonna see. Y'all done did it on four eight. One thing. All y'all titles combined on the mount to that one them people got down the street. It don't. <laughs> Glad you walked got it. one title, but died. they got the five A title. Yeah. The hardest remember, the hardest trophy to win in sports in Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> yeah. They the only school in the city. To even win the five A title though, in like fifty years. Yeah. Fifty years. They the yeah. only school yeah. in the Greater New Orleans Saint area. Saint one in seventy five. Or something. Yeah, man. I can five you. Five year dog. Yeah, five year dog. You gotta think about that, people. Yeah. <laughs> think about that. Like football ain't a mistake down here. Like, you oh, that's the, that's the prestige. That's the prestige, brother. You're not about to win that by Let's, accident. Let's no, move. indeed, no. Like yeah. West Monroe no, was indeed, no. Yo, them niggas West Monroe in the 90s. We're going to get off into yeah, some more local sports next week. People, we wrapping now things up ball. right now, no. but, um. We yeah. yeah. We do this. Big old boy. Bro, I, know, I know, I know yeah. I'm going to take a little heat. You know, people going to come at me for the little call, but it's true. 
If you a true, if you a true prep football fan and you've been following this shit for years, you know what I, you know what I say is love. That's love. That trophy that they got down the street at Landry Walker is bigger than all car trophies put together. Hmm. Because they won the five A title. You can't take that. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy. Car got all them championships. But they probably wouldn't have never won the five A title. Now you say, yeah. yeah. I, don't don't say I'm days. talking crazy. Carl probably days. never would have won the five A title if they would have got up there. Speedy wouldn't have won it. I don't know, yeah. dog. Think about it, my they nigga. I watched Speedy in them one year, dog. They made it to the dome <laughs> when they had to throw that bomb on them people, St. Thomas Moore, when they came back and all that, son. Before they started winning, when Neville and them was beating them and all that, they wouldn't have been beating no fucking Acadian and them and Zachary and them. Well, you hear me? Look, Luja, I, I, I just started putting my partner on the um, football and shit and bringing them to the games and shit. So it was one year, Carl beat Neville in the championship and Zachary played next. Soon as them boys came out, he like, yeah, D, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, this the real game. Type of football. You see it. When the five <laughs> yeah. teams come out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you're going to see it. <laughs> yeah. He like, man, Zachary looked like a baby college. Yeah. I said, yeah, that's why this it's five eight, thing, and that's for you. Yeah. It's I ain't gonna just lie. not Carl that look Carl. Like, Carl look like five eight. Listen. Though. No. 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 You see the difference. You look at them next to four eight teams. The four eight team, like, they yeah. yeah. They gonna stand. No, they would be a top five, five A team, but them fucking. Uh, when West Monroe they walking here, yeah. Carl gonna have to beat them with this here. Oh, I feel Spread I feel out. I feel Ain't I no. Uh, All right, you talking about this. size and everything. All right, Man. I was talking about program wise. No, I'm talking about how the car look go. like a college. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no. See, well, yeah, that's like I'm talking about how they look. My bad, my bad, when, my bad. When nigga looking at the other team, like, right? When they walk in, yeah, y'all five eight. Yeah. Act like that all you want. When they walk in, yeah. You, I, I, O line six seven. And then, you know, Period. we wrap it up. Like, this is yeah. what I mean. I, I left tackle six foot. Yeah. This is what six, I mean five. by 5A, and this is why I'm saying they probably wouldn't have won no 5A titles. I'm going to give you the reason why. All right. You got to play a KD Allen this week in the first round. They, they, they lost a few games, but you know their program. You could get knocked out in the first round. You can talk about that, yeah. All right. Now you got to go play Harville. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go play, you know, Puka Williams now. Yeah. All right. Ooh. You beat them. Now you're in the third round. You got to go play Destrahan. Yeah. John Jefferson now. Yeah. All right. You done beat them. Now you got to go play West Monroe. Up there. Yeah. Up now up you there. done beat them. You done made it to the dome, right? And Zachary waiting for you. Yeah. That's how you got to win five eight. Now, yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, it's tough. you know, that's why you don't it's see tough. nobody, you know, ain't no, oh, they won 10 5 eight titles. Oh, no, no, that's no, why no. I'm telling you. No. Off the rip, the best, everybody know it, bro. You know, and I ain't, you know, I don't want to say the wrong that's thing. Real. No, you're real. But, you're um, you know, home. West Monroe is a predominantly white school. You know, it's in Monroe, West Monroe. I don't be biased when it comes to football. They the when it comes to life, period. But they're the best program in the state, hands down. They got ten five A titles. At the top of the they everybody in the state know they the number one program in the state. West Monroe. Everybody fit them. When the playoffs start, they're looking where they at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, we on the side with them away. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. you know, it's West, it's West Monroe, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And no, that's why I say Landry Walker title meant so much, brother. Landry Walker scored a 50 piece on them, stumped them in the dome, stumped them, 50 points on them. You know what I'm saying? On oh, West Monroe. They beat the historic West Monroe. Who's Landry Walker quarterback? Dude went to Mississippi Keith State. Tung, he at Virginia right now playing wide receiver. He a fifth year senior. This is last he year. He went to Mississippi State, dude. He transferred to Virginia. Playing quarterback, last year. dude. Yeah, he transferred State. to Virginia. He right. played last year. Was playing a little quarterback. Started like one game or something. Now, now this year he playing receiver. 
Yeah, Virginia. He just had me, Virginia. The, the Cavalier. That's what's up. That's what's, what's up. Yeah, man, dude, we gotta go ahead and on and wrap this day. This thing up, we went past our time. Oh, uh, yeah, man, but shit, you hit it with some shit. <laughs> you know, but yeah. um, noodles back at it. Hit you with some shit, <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, back look. at it. But the history man. call, baby. Yeah. What we gonna do, man? Yeah, don't yeah, disrespect the call. Yeah. Ain't no disrespect. I, 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 I feel like y'all that. ready for it. That's what I meant to yeah. say. Yeah. And I'm not saying that up. y'all wouldn't have won the title on 5A. I'm just speaking on how great 5A is. That, yeah. you know, a good program like Cuff probably wouldn't have a championship if it was on 5A. That's how deep and hard it is to win that bracket. I know. He ain't trying to hate on no cup. Yeah. He love cup. He know what's happening. Yeah. But he know 5A real. 5A. Yeah. 5A dog. 5A dog, man. Let's go get that thing, man. Yeah. yeah. Time for Cup to move up. The real deal. Ooh. Right. Time we'll for Cup to move next. up. Next we'll episode go. is going to be a week away from first first um the first game the first of the game season of the NFL. Season. We'll have a college we're definitely gonna next have week. picks next game next next week with college and we're gonna tap back in with the best side of New Orleans football basketball, basketball. we tap in a little bit we're gonna hit y'all with some more names get some some props out there